What's up to all the pack gang members out there? This is the leader of the squad, OGP, aka Mr. 20 and 20. That's 20 plus assists, 20 plus points, aka Mr. Clutch at his finest, aka the true PG, aka Beast Mode. So today is the day, finally. I get to bring you guys the shooting tutorial you all been waiting like a month for. And it's finally here. Let me tell you why it took so long. And then I'm going to let you get into this video. Because this video will be pretty long. So if you got some time, look now. But if you don't, come back later. All right? So I had this stuff all planned out already. Then my computer froze. So I had to reset it. So once I reset it all, it deleted everything off my computer. So it's like I got to working with a brand new computer right now, guys. So some of the stuff will not be the same as you guys are used to. But don't worry about it, man. I'm going to make sure that I still have good content, funny content for you guys out there. But I got to bring out some new stuff, I guess, man. I deleted everything. I deleted pretty much everything that you guys are used to. But your boy still going to be pushing it. I'm not going to do like last couple years back when something happened to my uh, computer. I was like, forget it. I'm not going to do that to you guys. You guys have been loyal and faithful to me. So here you go. Finally, the shooting tutorial. So let's go. The first thing you got to guys got to do is make sure your animations are set. That's supposed to be a green light right there, but it wasn't. And I missed. All right. You want to make sure your animations are set. You want to make sure you even got this LaMarcus Aldridge shot. It really doesn't matter what kind of shot you have. You just want to make sure there's a shot that you can consistently drain out. All right. So I run with either LaMarcus Aldridge, the John Wall, James Harden, or release 22. All right. So here we go with this release 22 right here. All right. So I'm running with the John Wall right now. You want to make sure that if you play a lot of rec, you want to make sure your release time it is on quick. If you play a lot of park, you just, normal is fine too. All right. Never late though. Never late. Never late. All right. So let's get down here to the signature styles. The fadeaway jumper is usually obsolete in this game. I've yet to see anybody do a fadeaway jumper. But if you're one of those guys that do a fadeaway jumper all the time, make sure you pick whichever one you like. I'm a big fan of the LeBron and the Kobe. All right? I used to be a big fan of the Paul Pierce. Let me see what the Paul Pierce looks like now. Yeah, Paul Pierce actually has a good fadeaway too. Derrick Rose. Yeah, Derrick Rose got a good fadeaway too. So this is all on preference. All right, Make sure you be yourself. Be unique, be different. And if you're looking for cheese, you're looking for me to give you the shots that green out all the time, man, this is the wrong channel. You got the wrong person. I'm not about that cheese life, so go ahead and get you a salad, sprinkle some cheese on it, and get off my channel. Dribble pull up is one of the most, let me repeat that, one of the most used moves in the game, not even <laughs> on purpose. When you plan the wreck and you trying to go two hands flush on a dude or you trying to put chestnuts on a nigga face or on his back or on something and you tap square or flick the stick, you get this animation more likely than none. All right. So what I suggest is you pick one that you're very comfortable with. Oh, ben McLemore is comfortable for me because it's actually takes longer for him to shoot it so even if I do tap square or flick the stick what will happen is he would take a long time to actually shoot it so I can actually re-hold square or re-hold my stick and actually attempt the actual shot so I will suggest you either do Kevin Durant or Ben McLemore because it's a lot slower all right on to the next one spin jumper if I use spin move Jump a stiff three because it spins pretty fast. It gets the defender off. off it gets the defender up off you like, like that. Just, like, just like that. Like a snap. He gone. Poof. Abracadabra. He gone. I use this a lot when you trapped in a lot of animations. Definitely when he, I'm in that area of the paint where he is now. Um, I use it to protect. Myself when I'm passing the ball inside the paint, but you will see what I'm talking about sooner or later because I will have some footage at the end of the video. So, next thing, hop step jumper. This is one of the most effective shots in the game if you know how to work it. Now, I know how to work it because I ain't about that cheese life. So, number six is 
good for me i would say try whichever one is good for you out right here because this one is definitely on preference and definitely on what shot form you have so it changes via shot form so you want to make sure that's right make sure that's good for you all right uh and another thing hesitation four is the best hesitation in the game i don't care what nobody say hesitation three is garbage it's cheese man it's only good for this move right no this move right here that's it Get you that that three. I, I was using it for a while, but you know, I really don't like it. But if you really want a legit hesitation, man, that move right there is gonna be your favorite move. Hesitation, that one right there. It's gonna be your favorite move, man. Hesitation for right there. That gives you easy jumpers all the time. So let's go. Let's make sure our stuff is on absolute. Yes, our stuff is on absolute. Vibrations of default. Alright. So first thing on shooting is to shoot so on xbox is x on playstation is square or you can flick this the right stick either down left right any direction you want and he will shoot the ball now not flick it you gotta hold it my bad so you gotta hold it any direction he will shoot the ball i would suggest if you're not used to the stick don't use the stick just use square square is a lot more easier except for when you get around the basket get around this gray area right here which is called the paint then that's when the stick will come into play all right so that's how you shoot so you shoot with the square or the axe now let me tell you the three things you should be looking for when you're shooting so let me go ahead and shoot a couple times uh while i'm talking so um th three things you look for is either his hands his head position, pause if needed, or the meter. All right. A lot of people shoot in the corner a lot of the times because they're looking at the hands, and it's a lot easier to see the hands when you're in the corner. All right. I'm sh looking at strictly hands right now. So what you want to do as soon as that ball stops, stops going up, you want to let the stick go, or you want to hit, or you want to let the button go, whatever you're using, like. 2K right now has robbed me of these greens, but it's all good, man. It's it's all good. And then the head position, what you want to look for as soon as the head stops elevating. Pause, man. Pause, 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 man. As soon as the head stops to elevate, stops elevating, you want to let the stick go or let the button go. All right? So that's strictly on you. Strictly on you you all right so next thing is the meter which is the one i suggest that you all get used to working out because it looks like in 2k this ain't going nowhere it's not a bad idea once i'm starting to think about it it's not really a bad idea once you figure out how to work the meter so a lot of you guys play wwe a lot of you guys have wwe so the one thing about this meter is just like the uh, pin meter. You know how when somebody's pinning you and you got to break it up break before the three count? That's all this is. The key to this is timing. You don't want to wait till the bar gets to the white line. You want to hit it before it gets the white line. So it's like you want to hit it where as soon as it stops, it's going to be right on that white line. So definitely on the wreck, you got to hold it just a little tad bit longer because of the, the laggage and stuff like that. But it's also great to just practice it out, man. Make sure you in here shooting your shot. Make sure you're in your career shooting your shot of different and various shot forms. So when it, when that wreck come time, when it come time to get in that wreck or go in that park, man, you're going to be lethal. All right. So let me give you a little bit of moves. I'll probably give you about three or four moves to top this tutorial off so move number one this is the move that you need to actually know and actually use because if you use this move in the wreck or at the park people gonna be looking at you like this guy is nasty so the move number one is the spin jumper so the spin jumper is executed by simply double tapping the square button all right 
So you double tap the square button twice and you some people double tap it and then press it again. Some people double double tap and then hold the square button. So it's up to you. I double tap and then press the button again. It's a lot easier, I think. So this is effective in many ways because what I usually do is a lot of people, well, not just me, a lot of people run like this in the wreck and at the park all run like this. All right. So when you run it like this, why not stop? In the middle of the run, turn around, go into a spin jumper. People don't think about stuff like this, man. I do, because I'm not just about cheese. I'm about actually being good at the game. So here we go again. Double tap. Green light. Green bean. Fleek, whatever y'all want to call it. So here we go again. This side. Green light. That's what I do, man. So let's try it one more time. You can do it from various positions. You can actually do the spinning layup. I mean, spinning layup. You can actually do the spinning jump shot standing still. Watch this. It's kind of a travel. That kind of a travel. It is a travel, but hopefully they don't call it. I never did it like this before. It's kind of weird doing it like this. It's actually throw off my timing a little bit. But you can do it standing up. So if you could do it like this. Oh, yeah, there it is. Then that means you really beasting out. All right, so that's move number one. All right, so move number two is the hop, step, dribble. Well, it's more like the step back dribble, I call it. But it's in the hop, step, dribble animations. So, again, a lot of us do this or this. So, instead of just completing that why don't you go into a hot step dribble green it out green light central is good so to execute this is all you do is your stuff is on absolute you pull straight back on the right stick that's it simple as can be so let's try it again let's go right here look at that green 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 so let's try it again I like to do all my moves running side to side it's a lot easier to fake the defenders out. You can also do it running towards the basket too, but you know. The thing about being around this gray area right here is that once you start flicking the stick and pushing square around here, he wants to preferably go for a layup or start doing floaters and stuff like that. So I, tr I try to stay out here on the brown area. So here you go again. Step back green because that's what I do. So that's a step back. I did the step back, the spin, here's the spin right here, and that was terrible. And let's go into the hesitation, the hezzy. All right, so hesitation four is what I told you guys that you should be equipping on your man because when you're running like this, all you got to do is flick the stick down again. So you hold turbo, point the analog stick, running kind of in a diagonal like this, flick the stick. And there you go. Pull up for the jumper. This will stun your defender every time. Yo. I can't tell you not one time I did this move and my defender wasn't stuck or kept running. That is a guaranteed automatic green light jumper. Yo. So flick it. Oh, that was too close. I was too close. He did the hesitation, but he did it when it's too close to the basket. So here you go again. Make sure you're in that brown area. Green again, man. I'm telling you. Easy jumpers, man. Easy jumpers. There you go again. So if you want to be known as the green machine, cash is clay because you cashing out everything, man. You got to know what can brown do for you, man. This brown area right here can do a lot for you, man. But you got to use it. You got to use it and abuse it, man. Mid-range jumpers are lethal. They're easier to green out. And it will get you hot. It will get you hot, man. And all you need to do is get hot. And once you get hot, once you get them red rings of death, then you can start busting threes like this, man. Threes will be easy. I know everybody wants to shoot a three. Everybody trying to be Steph Curry with the shot, Clay Thompson with the pot, or whatever. Or whatever, whatever. But look, man. Middies. Where is that too? So remember, spin jumper, hop step jumper, hesitation four jumper, 
Those are three easy, effective moves that will make you a better player on the rack and at the park, man. So, yeah, this tutorial is coming to an end, man. What I'm about to do is show you guys some highlights of me actually performing some of these moves in real-life situations in, in the game. And until the next time, it's your boy OG, man. Let you know, man. Let's stop cheesing. Let's do it the OG way, man. OG way is the original way. Until next time, it's your boy OG, man. And smash that like button for your boy. I'm out. Deuces. Let me end it with a green light. For more epic and classic tutorials, please like and subscribe OG's channel. And now, head out to them parks and that wreck and start greening that motherfucker. Peace.